Welcome back to the layout, everyone. So today we are going to go ahead and do the paving scene. And I've already uh, colored the asphalt. So this section right here is going to be the brand new asphalt. Um, this area here is going to be the milled asphalt. And then of course this lane over here is the already uh, aged asphalt. Um, so I'll go ahead and kind of uh, do a quick run through is uh, for the vehicles uh, that are going to be in this scene. All right, so I'm going to go through uh, the vehicles that you would typically see on a uh, paving crew. I am not modeling all of those vehicles, uh, only because I would need a uh, much longer uh, road space to uh, basically show a full paving crew. So I'll go through uh, the vehicles that I'm using here in this scene, and at the same time, uh, some of the other vehicles uh, that you, you would see in a, in a paving crew. So one of the first uh, uh, pieces of equipment that is on the line is a asphalt uh, miller uh, planer that has a couple different names, uh, but this is what uh, uh, mills down the asphalt, the existing asphalt. Uh, this will then go into uh, a dump truck. After the asphalt has been milled, uh, one of the next vehicles that you would see is a sweeper truck, a uh, brush truck. Uh, these are in multiple uh, variations. Sometimes uh, you'll have a uh, vehicle like this, uh, both with water and a uh, sweeper, and uh, sometimes you know something as simple as a tractor with a uh, a uh, rotating broom on the front. Um, again, there's quite a few different variations, but uh, the next vehicle you'd have is a sweeper truck. Uh, one of the vehicles uh, that I don't have in this scene, uh, it's very common, is you're gonna have a skid steer and uh, you're gonna have a small uh, cold planer that sits on the front of that as an attachment. And uh, those are used uh, to mill down the existing asphalt in the uh, tight areas where the larger uh, asphalt uh, planer could not reach. And then a lot of times a second skid steer or that same skid steer will then use its uh, bucket attachment to help with the cleanup of the existing uh, asphalt that is being recycled. One of the next vehicles that you find on the paving crew is going to be a front-end loader. Uh, it's used again for the cleanup of the existing asphalt uh, during the uh, milling process and then again uh, it's uh, used throughout the paving uh, process as well for cleanup, uh, sometimes moving any of the uh, vegetation near the roadside that has been pushed, pushed away. Uh, as, as the paving crew continues forward, uh, but uh, very often you do find a front end loader on a paving crew. So the next vehicle that you would see on the paving crew is going to be the Maximizer. Um, so that is the truck uh, that carries the uh, hot liquid asphalt. Um, it has quite a few different names. You can, it's sometimes referred to as the tar truck. Uh, the hot liquid asphalt uh, truck, the maximizer. But anyways, it's a, this is actually a, a fuel tanker truck, but it'd be a truck that's similar to this, where um, it's not as big, but you have a tank on the back. There's a heater in there and that uh, heats up the liquid asphalt. And then that is sprayed. Uh, there's a sprayer arm in the back and that's sprayed onto the uh, existing asphalt or if it's a new paving application, be going on the lime rock. And uh, that is the tack that helps the uh, new asphalt uh, bond to the existing substrate. Um, so I don't, I'm not, I won't have that in this paving application. Uh, again, just because of space. Uh, so for uh, both in this paving scene and what comes after uh, that truck, is going to be your asphalt paver and again uh, there's several different variations of these this particular one is uh, on 
tires, but there's also uh, same models with uh, tracks as well. Uh, several different sizes. Uh, something this size you would see doing roadways. There are smaller ones for, for parking lots and and so on. Um, and uh, another uh, variation that you might see is a material transfer vehicle, uh, which is basically a vehicle uh, that sits in the front of this to where the dump truck with the asphalt, the new asphalt that uh, would dump. So this particular, it's going to dump into the hopper here where the asphalt goes in. But if you had a material transfer vehicle, there's another vehicle that sits in here. And what that does is it allows the paving process to be uh, continuous and it gives a better, uh, a better mix as it's uh, uh, agitated in the material transfer vehicle before getting into the hopper. Um, that vehicle I uh, don't have in this paving scene as well. Uh, after the asphalt has been applied, the next uh, vehicles you're going to see is going to be the rollers. Uh, nowadays, more often than not, it's going to be two uh, steel drum rollers, uh, just like this. They usually run in, in tandem, uh, or more, really more so in uh, parallel as they are uh, compacting the, the lane of asphalt. Uh, but sometimes you will see a uh, pneumatic roller, and that's a roller that has uh, is six to eight uh, rubber tires on the front and back instead of the two uh, steel drums. Um, but uh, that's just another uh, variation and the mix and the paving uh, job kind of dictates on uh, what uh, type of uh, roller uh, rollers you, you would use. But uh, really after the rollers have uh, made their passes, on the new asphalt, the paving is, is considered done. Uh, after that, you would have a crew that uh, stripes the asphalt. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do some weathering on uh, these vehicles and uh, the dump trucks. i uh, just get them looking a little bit more realistic uh, for day in and day out operation. So I have completed the scene and uh, just going off the back uh, forward. So I got the two rollers, have a uh, crew truck parked over there in the grass, have a loader back there, and then we have the paver along with a uh, Caterpillar dump truck. And so the um, black is just uh, black ballast, uh, fine. So that's what I used for the asphalt. Over here have the sweeper truck and uh, weathered the front of that uh, with the uh, dirty brown, dirty gray uh, to give that some weathering. Same with the base on the uh, miller. So I have the asphalt planer here. And then let me over to the other side of the bridge. So over here on the other side of the bridge, we have the dump truck, and uh, that is a uh, fine gray ballast that's going into the uh, into the dump box that's coming out of the asphalt planer. And uh, what I did to simulate that. I actually have a piece of uh, scotch tape that I went ahead and covered in uh, white glue and then attached all of the uh, ballast to that. Um, so it's actually kind of a cool feature. Uh, unfortunately, it kind of gets hidden by the, uh, the bridge, um, but that is there. And then just got some uh, different uh, figures throughout the scene uh, to give it some life. And then all of these uh, construction barrels, uh, those are a product by uh, Small Scale Innovative. And so I have a bunch of those along the scene as well.
If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, be sure to hit the bell. Uh, where you'll get notifications whenever I post new videos. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, uh, be sure to leave a comment. I uh, try to respond to everyone's comments. And uh, again, thank you for watching.